Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. Today's movie came to me years ago and has been buried at the bottom of the flashback box ever since. Looks like you got a jizz rag with cobwebs stuck to the box there. No, I'm kidding, it's just a downy sheet. Date 11-12-2015. It's like two packages taped together. Video no knock on. We'll open up this first one here. They got it in there. They got it in there good. All right, I'm gonna show you guys first. Science Crazed? One of the ultimate avant-garde works of the straight to VHS era? What the hell is this? It's science crazed! Now even though I forget what I order all the time, I knew I didn't order this one. Even if it was five years ago. I would have remembered ordering this. Science crazed, what the hell do you think this is? This is one of the worst movies we've ever done for the show. One well-known critic has suggested that perhaps the world would be a better place if they hunted down and destroyed the original negative of this film. Doug Tilly of No Budget Nightmares says, You've never seen anything like Science Crazed, I promise you. He promises me that I've never seen anything like this? Hmm. And after seeing it, I can safely say that that is true. This was made in 1989, and it's 83 minutes. The other movie in the package was a movie called Ryan's Babe, and I knew I didn't order that one. That just confirmed it all. I mean, why would I order that? It wasn't until I was signing out of Flashback Land that a note fell from the package. It was professional and made out to... Unbox, watched, and reviewed. Hey Tanner, enjoy our first two DVD releases from our small label up here in the Great White North. The note talks about Ryan's babe first and how it was literally on the way to a dumpster before being rescued. Then it talks about science crazed. And second, the infamous Canadian horror what the fuck masterpiece science crazed. We'd be ever so grateful for reviews when you have time. Feel free to contact us or to let us know when the reviews are posted. Cheers, Tyler Baptist and John Vaughn. Oh shit, they've been waiting for this. They wanted me to get back to them, oh my god. Sorry about the wait. I had no idea that was personally sent to me, otherwise I would have opened it a lot earlier. So what do you want to watch? Do you want to watch Science Crazed or do you want to watch Ryan's Babe? Let's watch Science Crazed. This one sounds like fun, avant-garde. So with that said, are you guys ready to watch Science Crazed? I know I am. Let's do it. I had to take Ryan's Babe out. Watched that the other day. Ryan's Babe was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I put the movie in and the DVD menu popped up. Oh my god. Okay, it doesn't say play. It says get crazed. So let's get crazed, shall we? Play movie. Oh, fucking public access beauty. Science crazed, oh my god. It's a DVD and it's got bad tracking. So science crazed begins with Dr. Wilbur Frank being fired from his job at the Shelley Institute because his experiments are too extreme. I warned you about those experiments, Dr. Frank. He said, my work will change the course of science. And the guy goes, get out. There's a woman in a wheelchair now and the doctor's taking her pulse. Exactly. He said, in exactly three hours, you will be pregnant. In 21 hours, you will give birth to a fine, healthy baby boy. And she's strapped down to a chair. He injects her with something and she passed out. Exterior of the factory the next day. And there is her baby. It's white and bloody. A couple walked in and said, what's that? And the doctor's looking on. This is Terry and Joan, and they are the doctor's assistants. He tells them to, he said, wrap the head in gauze and don't breathe a word of this to anyone, agreed. And the kid goes, sure, doc. We then see what looks like a breathing chest set to these awful breathing noises. What's that, a heaving chest? I think there's a heaving chest on the screen, but I can't really tell because this is avant-garde. It's just this chest, a big ripped guy is just strapped down to this table. How long is this breathing scene gonna go on? 
How long is Marley gonna play with that ball is the question. I mean, this is all it is. The doctor walked in and there's the legs of a man coming at him. The feet are dragging. The doctor says, stop, I'm your master. I created you, stop, stop. Wow, this acting is amazing. It's mind blowing. And do you hear that sound in the background? That's the sound the killer makes when he's ready to kill. It's kind of like a churning sound or a demonic bark. Marley, it's not a dog on TV, honey. Joan, the teen, said, I'm really worried about Dr. Frank. Terry said, it's a basic experiment. One injection, one mother, one baby. You know what I've always hated in movies? Scenes when phones start to ring. I hate it. The phones are always way louder than the rest of the audio in the movie. Marley, Marley. Are they gonna let it go to fucking voicemail? The awful phone stops ringing and another one starts. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Somebody answer the phone and Marley please with the ball. The teens, Terry and Joan, go to the institute and the teens see the doctor dead. There comes some POV shit down the hall. Oh my God, it's a long haul. It's the longest haul I've ever seen. Oh my God, with the ball. The teen girl and the teen boy are making another phone call. A cop who's hanging out at the video store gets a phone call from the teens. Woody, I want to report a murder. Meanwhile, back at the institute, we see the killer's feet walking down a hallway, and then it cuts to... Now there's two aerobics girls. This the sound is just insane. There's there's two girls doing aerobics. What's happening here? This is chaos. Turn it down. Marley, no stair play. She knows there's no stair play in this house. Cause I made a sign. No stair play. He's still shuffling down this hallway. It cuts back to the girls working out, and then we see the same shot of him walking down the hallway. There's his feet walking down the fucking hall again. Back to them exercising. There's his feet walking down the hall, and there's butt shots. They're doing toe touches. Is this really fucking loud? At least that ball's not squeaking anymore. It's just zooming up to the girl's ass, and she's doing these toe touches. Now it's zooming back. There he is in the hallway. He's walking with his foot sideways. Oh, the bigger girl is lifting weights now. There's a blonde girl in some sort of uh, weightlifting machine. Showing the big girl again, she's out of breath. There's his feet again. God, there's the big girl again doing these. Blonde girl's doing this again. Oh my God, this is the, this is the longest workout sequence I've ever seen in my life. This is longer than an actual workout video. Like there should be a beep and then they'd switch to like these. I timed it and it had been going on for nine minutes by that point. That's longer than my eight minute ab workout. The music stopped. Oh, now they're in the locker room. I thought that was a motorcycle, but it's the monster. Oh my God. That's the monster. It's this man with a bandaged face and like a spiked ear. And his white t-shirt has blood stains all over it. The girls are silent, looking at it in horror. They don't scream, they don't run, they just remain still until they die off camera. And the girls are dead. They're not bloody, they're just laying there like this, breathing. Come on, bitch, just hold your breath. And there he goes, scuffling away. He just scuffled off. This is so bad. The inside of the box has a great quote from someone who goes by Anonymous, and it says, I sat through it, you can too. His next victim is a woman sitting in a spotlight. He enters the room making his weird churning sound, and she looks at him. She does not run, scream, or cry, or do anything. She just sits there, and they look at each other. 
Eventually, she stands up and walks over to him. She said, don't be afraid, and they're just standing there while he makes those noises. They're just simply standing there. There he is standing there. Who is this woman? Two full minutes with no dialogue passed, and I couldn't believe it. My god, I wish I could fucking fast forward. I can't believe this is still going on. They're just fucking standing there. She said, I'm yours, and he picked her up, and she goes, ah, ah, and he crushed her. He's breaking her back. Now he's carrying her out. Now there's some blonde girl in an arcade. Oh god, I forgot about this part. This part is really long. The camera's just going around in a circle, spinning around this girl. There's his feet in the hallway again. It's kind of like in Last Slumber Party, how they keep showing him with a scalpel. That's what's happening with the hallway here. This is just another girl, and the camera's just going around her to make it look interesting, but it does not look interesting. You can see the cameraman's shadow. There's their fucking studio light. It's just the most generic piece of shit I've ever seen. This is shittier than Hershey's Kisses, a movie about eating shit. Camera's still spinning around the girl. You know, I thought Ryan's Babe was maybe the worst movie I've ever seen, but this is almost worse than Ryan's Babe. I, I'm enjoying this more, even though it's the same shot of that girl just going around and around. I mean, that's like all that's happening. They're just going in a circle, but it's still better than Ryan's Babe. He's looking at her through a screen door. Screen door opened and the music stopped. Oh Jesus, the growling. Are they gonna stand there for 10 minutes? She's slowly turning around. There he is, she sees him. They're looking at each other. He's raising his arms up like this. He's choking her and we're seeing the shadows up against the spotlight. It's really artistic and cool. Somebody give me a break. Now we're in an indoor swimming pool. How long are these fuckers gonna kick around? Let's have some dialogue, people. Let's talk, anything, anything you wanna talk about. I'm willing to listen. No, no, they're just sitting. There's the feet in the hallway. There's a girl in a black swimsuit. She's out of focus. This has gotta be the worst movie ever. This movie sucks shit. There's two girls talking. We can't hear what they're saying. This is just people standing. I wish I could just hand this off to somebody else and say, take it from here, because I can't stand it. And before I could say dog on TV, somebody jumped up into my spot in the watching zone. Okay, so how does this work? I just say what's going on on the TV? All right, well, there's no dogs on TV, I can tell you that much. People are just standing around this huge thing of water. That girl's in the water getting wet paw. The killer comes limping in slowly and nobody does much about it. He sounded like a live pig in a slow motion garbage disposal. He's going into the pool. He grabbed the girl by the arm and he's dunking her. He's drowning that girl and nobody is doing anything about it. That one guy's still in the pool just standing there. He's dunking the guy underwater. He's dunking all these people. Now there's a woman standing there looking at him like Oh my god, he just murdered my friends! And he's getting out of the pool! Look at this idiot! Grabbing onto that ledge. What a fool! Why isn't this woman running? Oh, she got away because somebody's talking to the cop now. She gets away and she tells the cop all about it. He says, let's split up. We'll meet back here in 20 minutes. In real time, no doubt. Now there's Joan in the hallway and there's the killer's feet! Okay, there's the girl walking down the hallway. And there's his feet walking in the hallway. Here comes the girl walking down the hallway. This is just taking forever. It's just the same shot of her walking down the hallway and his feet. Why am I doing this? I should be playing with that loud ball again. Nothing is happening in this thing. That's the unique thing about it, I guess. He made it to the girl and now they're staring at each other. And she ran off. And there he goes, chasing after her. This movie is putting me to sleep. Isn't there a place called Jazzland or something? I wish I could snap my paws because I really am falling asleep. I was getting so bored I look like I'm about to snap. Look at my eyes. 
That is a dog experiencing sheer boredom right there. She runs into the arms of Terry and the monster comes towards them and I got confused thinking it was a dog on TV. Ooh, look, a dog on TV. Oh, wait, it's just that guy. Oh, here comes the cop. Yeah, he's really taking his time, isn't he? I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm done. Everything's just taking too long. I'm done. I told Daddy I was done, and I let him take over again. That was exhausting. Okay, I got my spot back, and the cop is at the end of the hallway, and the killer is at the other end of the hallway. He shot at him, but he's dodging the bullets. Did Marley do a good job hosting the show, or what? I don't care how this movie ends, Daddy, but since I've been watching so much of it, I'm just gonna lay down and finish it with you. I know. Who is this now? I'm so confused. Is this one of the doctors from the Institute? Yes, it is, good girl. It's a doctor, and she's sitting at her desk writing. Look at that blue eyeshadow. That woman looks like a hooker. There's a hooker on TV. Here comes his feet down the hallway. They have a long standoff, literally, and he eventually chokes the woman. God, Daddy, this sure is Stupid, isn't it? He finds Terry and Joan and he starts posing for them at the end of the hallway. I mean, he looks so stupid. She said, we got company. The cop took out his big gun. He's walking through the fucking room. He's face to face with the killer. And the killer is ripping off his bandages. Oh, you should see his fucking face now. It's just a rubber mask. The cop says to the rubber faced monster, you're under arrest. Killer just attacked the cop, bashed him up against the wall. He ran down to the basement. So they're slowly walking to their car in the parking garage. And the killer's hobbling around. At least he's out of that hallway. They're looking around for him. They see his shadow. He chases them around a parking garage for a while, and the chase turns into a slow walk. Everybody's walking at this point, trying to get away from this guy. The guy ran off and said, wait here, and the killer came up behind the girl and grabbed her. And the cop is turning the corner. He's all bloody. He's got his gun, and he's standing there. He's standing there while the thing grunts. He shot him in the leg and there's green slime. And he just lifted his arms like this. The cop is dying. And the killer's doing this. Who's that? Some guy just stepped out with a machete and he sliced it through the guy's neck. And the effects are awful. Terry and Joan kiss and... They're walking out of the garage arm in arm away from this nightmare. Please be done. Please be done. Cut to black. And that's it. All right, let's put on Christopher Rage's music while we talk about this. This movie is so fucking bad it should go without saying. What a horrible movie. I haven't seen a movie this fucking shitty in a long time. So what do I give Science Crazed on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a... One! This was just so mind-boggling. This movie is insane. It was just like, who would want to watch this? Who would really want to watch these people stand around in a swimming pool for 10 minutes with no dialogue? This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And for that, this is very special. So, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.